Hello and welcome back everyone to our run through of Court in the Sand from Final Fantasy XIV version 1.23b. In the last video we went through the Gladiators Guild and the Goldsmiths Guild and we are now on our way to the Miners Guild. And to let people know this is available on my repository right now which I will put in the description the link to my repository that way people can walk through this and play through it so once we reach the miners go we will actually be able to do the emote system which has made a ton of progress even from my last video I posted about it all right so now we gotta talk to a Lynetta Welcome to Imagina and the Sun's Mineral Concern, where we see to all of Olda's mineral needs. If you are interested in visiting a mine, we have several which are open to sightseers of course. They no longer yield much of value. If you desire access to one of the working mines, on the other hand, you'll first have to register with the Miners Guild. Which is not to say that there aren't a few impoverished souls who seem intent on ignoring such rules. In the most severe cases, their crimes earn them permanent expulsion from Mulda, but many of them live in such a secluded communities or camps of Eastern Thonalon. If the rules are not strictly enforced, there will be no end to the accidents caused by inexperienced miners. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Speak of the devil. We found this one hiding in the mines. Come on, admit it. It was you, wasn't it? You caused that cave in. Stop, please. I beg of you. Nafika, have mercy. This Lalafell should get with the one in the in uh Kurthes and they should just have a jam session. Help stop them. Oh, we'll just skip that. You help me. You help me. We must put an end to this. Do as I do to draw their attention. So this was another segment of this quest that I spent a lot of time scripting this actually was the most fun just just getting the email stuff to work so so we just talk to her you must help me you must help me stop them before this goes too far do as i do to draw their attention come now show me that you are furious so if we actually do the wrong emote it is set up to where no matter how many times you do it wrong it won't progress the quest, which was one issue I was dealing with the first time around. So she just, uh, I don't know if this is like canon to Rita, but she kind of just repeats what you need to do. I figured it would remind you somehow of what uh, emote to do. Otherwise, I don't know if they just rely on chat to do that. But then if we do Furious, Yes, just so. Here, I shall teach you another trick. I know. Do this to beckon them to you. Let's we'll beckon. Yes, yes. Well done, then. Of course, you can always simply laugh at them. No pride, no proud miner can bear to be sniggered at. And then I'll just demonstrate this one last time. So if I just do like soothe. Should just tell us that we've forgotten or remind us what emote to do. And if those reminders are not like canon to retail, they're actually really easy to just remove. I'll 
Alternately, I suppose you can just deny them. Condemning the fight outright may serve to end it as well. Assuming they find you sufficiently imposing. Of course, if you can get them to listen, then it may be enough just to let them know that you are upset by their feuding. So I'm we'll just do upset. Couldn't have done it better myself. Most important of all, though, is to calm them, to soothe their miners' tempers. So now we have to do soothe. Now use all I have just shown you and calm those two miners down. I've never seen them so angry. I fear something terrible may come to pass. Then we just talk to her again, and then she'll just tell us. She's never seen these miners so angry, so we gotta calm them down or distract them. So with this guy, we have to do back into. I ain't got time for the likes of you. And then we could actually talk to them too. Here, let's see what a couple of these people would have to say about this. What in seven houses you want? I ain't never heard of them. Ain't nothing more dangerous than common. Put some miner and his drink. Leave me be. Leave me be before I bury my pick. Leave me be before I bury my pickaxe up your adventurer ass. Jeez, this guy is. That guy is rude. Easy there, killer. Rain in a bit. That's, that's something I kind of realized about like 1.0. It's like a lot of the NPCs are just like assholes. And then we got Miss Tingle over here. I know it's base at me, but I do love to see men come to blows. There's something so primal about it. Don't you think who needs the Coliseum when you have roots bring the fights to me? Uh, yeah, she's uh, definitely crazy, so. I'd, I'd be m more concerned about that one. So this guy will just laugh in his face. <laughs> what are you laughing at, you proxy whore? Damn. What in the hell do you think you're doing? These two are responsible. They started a fight with this man, and in the middle of my performance, no less. In the middle of my performance, no less. No, we only... We captured this. Silas, nobody told you to speak. You know full well that our... You know full well that only father can deal with trespassers. It would be no different with Corgivase. I like how the Lalafells have to be the one to drag them out and not like the Rogadins. Word is they found an Elzen right after the collapse in the shafts. He's lucky to be alive. Hmm, you got a thermotog in these mining shafts. That's weird. You don't know how rough we miners have got it working our asses off all day. Down in them pitch black mines, this is where we come to relax. I see now, now he's being less of an asshole to me. That Elzen whose skin Flamin just said, that scene is somewhere before. He's no miner, that's for sure. I think I've overheard something about him being a thermotog. Talk to him. He says, please mercy, I mean no harm.
You're a kind to help. Corjavis, are you alright? I believe so, yes. I'm truly sorry, Flamin. I just... After the accident at the parade, I owe so much. I failed to control that beast. It caused so much trouble for so many. It's only a matter of time before the order expels me. I'll have no way to repay all the damages, and I just... I don't know what to do. Oh, Corjavis, I am truly... I'm sorry. You have nothing to apologize for. The fault lies with my feeble skills at Thermatog. And with this, the accursed beast. I shall take my leave of you now. I must prepare for the coming journey. I expect nothing less than the permanently exiled from Olda for my actions. Corjavis, I promise you, I will do everything in my power to prevent that from happening. I just love how long the dialogue boxes stay up on the screen. I just don't understand it. Neither do I. Corjavis is under suspicion of unlicensed entry into the mine and causing an accident. Flamin still defends him. I just don't understand why the dialogue box is up so long. I beg your pardon, ma'am. Am I to understand that you learned about our recruiting directly from Amodi? Currently, our primary concern is the rise in unlicensed individuals entering the mines. Our investigation indicates that the majority of the interlopers hail from without the city. We'd like you to travel to Camp Blackbrush and inform them of our intent to straighten our punitive measures. I think I shall accompany her. The day's performances are over, and I feel like strengthening my legs. But Plumman, are you sure? Yes, I'm quite sure. Come now, if she sent a single adventurer, we both know that nobody will listen to the word she says. You there, Slurp. Await me from the Gate of Null, north of here. Everybody's an asshole to my character, like, damn. We just said slurp, nobody's just gonna listen. So now we have to go to the Gate of Nald, which is right outside Ulda. And I personally wanted to thank the person who told me about this. So, and I've actually seen it in WOTG Ashi's playthrough, because that's the person's playthrough I used to script everything or to make it all accurate is that this quest icon we're about to get to is it's actually a, a bug that I fixed that Square Enix never fixed so basically this quest marker is supposed to spawn right outside the gate but it's actually supposed to spawn in the Thonalyn zone and not in the Old Da zone. But by spawning it in the Old Da zone, by the time you already get here, the quest icon is actually there. Because in the video, it looked like she walked out to the zone, but it wasn't there. And then she had to walk, then it showed, and then she walked back. So, by the time we actually get here, the quest icon's already there, so there's no weird thing where you have to kind of walk back and look for it. So, uh, this is where the escort mission is supposed to be. Basically, just defend her from, like, monsters. Sorry to keep you waiting. It took a bit longer than I expected to get ready. Our destination lies to the north. The way beyond the city walls is fraught with danger. Do not let your guard down, even for an instant. We should get going. I 
then so this is pretty much just set up to kind of just skip over the escort part it's one thing to just like like i literally could just have it skip to the next cutscene, but like this this stuff isn't really that hard to change Plus, I like spawning into a zone with different music. So we got this little system message that tells us to go to Black Rush, but you can always just use the map and the journal to tell you where to go. Now let's gather everybody together and say what we've come to say. What's going on? She was she was attacked by a gigantic beast. Her wounds do not appear to be fatal. Thank the twelve. Can Corjavis's magic do nothing for her? Let me see the child. I guess that's just one thing about old does they don't have conjurers but essentially just black mages girl can you hear me are you all right what is your name Asilia Asilia father what I am not your dad father give me back my father Oh no, crazy girl. Calm yourself, chat. What has happened? This girl is so scary. And then like, see here, we got everybody spawned in here. Count yourself lucky you weren't chance upon one of those waste many bees. They like nothing better than the taste of you adventurers. That girl was carrying a map showing the path from Old Dodd to here. I wonder if she was if she was living in the city. Uh, what's this guy say? Why would such a child be out wandering alone all alone? Where are her parents? Well we'll find out what happened to her at least father later on. Come child, what is it? Are you not well? Oh hello there. Good adventure, tell me. You know aught of this girl. She's freaking me out, yo. And that Acelia is actually Menphilia. And it's quite a relief to see that she has arrived at last. Are you this girl's father? How could you be how could you leave her alone in such a place like this? I did more. I did no more than to show the girl how to find this camp at her own request. I certainly could not have known she meant to undertake the journey on her own. She divulged only that she was seeking out an enemy of her father's out of concern of her well-being. I set out to follow her. An enemy of her father's? You, it's you. You're the reason father won't wake up. I believed you were the one in charge with keeping the beast at the parade in check, were you not? Yet it broke free of its spell, and well, I need to remind you of what followed. Father, do not fear. I shall see the child return safely to the city myself. My only concern is that. My only concern is what will come for her then. My only concern is what will come of her then. She had only her father and knows none in Old Dog. Her father is being treated at Frondale's Prostistory. Should you see it fit to concern yourself any further, good day then. Celia, could it be? My apologies. Come, we must see to the task which brings us. Let's seek out the man who leads here.
Word into the mines, which is only to prevent another tragedy. The lessons of that day cannot be forgotten. You must educate the young ones. Tell them of the disaster, the suffering, and misery it brought upon all, rich and poor alike. Do not require counsel on how to educate my people, and you know full well that talk of any of that accident, of that incident, is forbidden. It is not the place of the youth to fear. Should you order the Arzanus, the Arzanus Osiri to see fit to make any official proclamation. However, give my regards to your mind warden. I'm going to go back and be an old now. We've done all we can here, Slurp. Let us return. My character is just like confused at what's going on this entire time. She always just looks like what's going on. So our journal has been updated and now it wants us to go seek out the camp leader, which will be back at the miners guild. Miners Guild. That happens to me every time. Like once I get to this uh, part in the quest, I always go to the quicksand. I always forget that I have to go to the Miners Guild. So I'll we'll talk to Flame Private Tanner again, and she will. I think the onyx lane was the closest to it, if I remember correctly. I know the men we spoke to come across as guarded. Hostile, even. But it is not without reason. Those people have seen more than their fair share of tragedy. Still, he is a good man. I trust he will pass our words on to his people. Thank you for seeing me safely all the way. The Miners Guild appreciates your services here. This is for you. We obtained 3,000 gil, but we actually didn't obtain 3,000 gil. We got a new link pearl message though. Scrapped a few gil, scrapped a few gil over at the Imaginas, did you? Well, that's just a taste. It'll take a lot more hard work and dedication to get where you want to go. Did you hear about the cave-in at the mines? The Franstissery is full to the rafters with the injured. If you can stomach those scourly sods, might be some coin to be made over there. I imagine there's work to be done in plenty. So, the frostisserie is... The Alchemist Guild. This is Flame Private Cove.
prepared Fla the Ether. Now we have to talk to Nuggalex. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry, but due to the volume of patients, we're refusing any and all requests save emergencies. Ah uh, yes, of course. You must be the adventurer that Momodi said would be coming. Your help is most welcome. Master Fostagon is within. He will assign you to your duties. Go down the stairs and at the rear of this ward and through the door beyond. He will doubtless be somewhere apparent. Check it, Chora. What's... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that person's name. What's this about? The cave in and not on my minds. Gods, tell me it wasn't beyond the, re the restricted area. Calm down. Everything's fine. I myself patrol the area every day. Do you not worry about such a thing happening ever again. The boys are looking into it as we speak. Once they're back, I'll have them tell you everything they know. Please do. And what are the thermotards? And what other thermotog? Can we be sure he won't appear again? Yes, what is it? You come to help. Mamodi from the quicksand sent you, did she? You might understand that you have some grasp of alchemical arts. arts? No? Hmm. Then you're just another adventurer and nothing more. I doubt you'll prove to be much of use. Very well, just go and make a survey of the sick rooms and try not to get in the way. Hey, who cares what caused it? Fact is, happened that the concern stands so much. I like to turn stands too much to lose anyway. See how they were never using the tunnel that began with. There's supposed to be music playing here, so I'm gonna have to double check that. I've never seen wounds like this before. Master Fosticon has ordered that any accounts given to the patient is considered delusions and not recorded. What is going on in Nanawa Mines? I think I might have accidentally didn't set the music in the actual private zone SQL. So I'm going to do that really quick after this. Master Fossa God has ordered you to survey the sick rooms. Very well. Pass through the door there and you will come to come upon them. Father, please come back. Father, it's got to be good. It's gone. My dear, I know this must be hard for you, but I must ask. Tell me, child, Warburn, your father, why did he come to this city? Did he know someone here? He said that old Da was dangerous. Dangerous, but why? Did he tell you why? Of course he did. I see. 
And so your father came here to try and tell others. How would you like Don with the remains? He's not a citizen of old Dai. You would have to appeal to the Arthenus Ossuary to make the arrangements. I should think medical expenses and internal costs will come upwards of one and a half million gil. How can you be so callous? This child lived alone and her father and in poverty. Now take his corpse out of here yourself. Leave it beyond the city walls if you must. I'm sure the crows and beetles will be happy to save you the cost of the brutal of a burial. But whatever you do, do it quickly. I have need of the room. Demoliet. The cost of not burying the deceased is far greater than the cost of burying them. Those not properly returned to Highland are those not properly returned to Highland are damned to spend an eternity wandering the waste. I'm aware of what the scriptures teach. It's just there's no need. There is no money. I never thought it would come to this. I never thought Warburton would die. I must do something. I must first contact the superiors. The monster that they're referring to, if people are unaware, is that there was a Gobu in the first old dog quest that got loose. Got another Link Pearl message. Said found a monstery to your own liking. You got a chance to meet the Master Fostagon, I take it. Don't worry, he'll remember. He'll never remember you anyway. Word is things. Weren't nearly as bad as they could have been. Most of the miners got away with not but a few scratches. If you get the time, come and see me at the quicksand. I've been entrusted with keeping. I've been entrusted with keeping of something meant for you. All right, so our journal has updated. This is actually the end of the quest. So we gotta make our way to the quicksand. Yeah, so that zone there, I'm gonna just have to set the music in the SQL file. I think I'm so used to doing the private zones that the music, it's already automatically there. Because it's first, it's supposed to play the theme of it, and then after I leave that cutscene, there's actually no music to it at all. But it's an easy fix, it'll take like two seconds. Oh, and uh, the, the funny thing that I overlooked was the uh, quest icon here. I completely forgot about that blue icon. So, Court in the Sands. Look at what the Coral Drag did. Don't tell me the Great Adventure has forgotten where she's got her start. Maybe now you can see why the rest of yours, yeah, thinks us overindulgent. Because we're moms ahead of them in every way that matters. Jealousy is what it is, plain and simple. Anyway, it's here's a little something for you. Consider Old Dog's way of saying thanks. It ain't much, but get yourself some guild leaves and a good retainer. I'd have a feeling you'll turn into something big. Oh, and if you care to know more about either of those, come and see me anytime. I can tell you a thing or two about getting started. Just say the word. And if you be needing any sort of weapon or armor, look no further than the merchants just beside me. They're always eager to help out a newcomer adventurer. Right then, best of luck to you. And we have completed Court in the Sands. And we got 6,000 gil, but not really. 
And actually, we got another quest icon because uh, the next quest is set to level 8. So, in the next video, I'll be showing you uh, golden sacrifices. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you in the next video.